Hi friends, welcome back to Learn and Explore. Today in this video, I am going to show you how you can find out the coordinate of a shaft and the length and bearing from a known station. Okay, and uh, it is a it, this problem is particularly based on the railway tunnel project. So it will definitely help you if you are in work like this. So before going to start my video, please. If you are new to our channel, subscribe our channel and if you like this video and if you think that it will help you, please do share and like my video. Okay, so let's start. So here I have a question regarding this. That is, for a railway project, a straight tunnel is to be run between two points P and Q. Okay, whose coordinates are given below? These are the coordinates of P and Q and r is a known station whose coordinates is also given here now it is desired to sing a shaft as at s the midpoint of p and q s is to be fixed from r the third known point okay calculate the coordinate of s length of s sorry length of r s and bearing of r s so with these three known points, here we will point a shaft in S and we will also find the length from S to R and bearing of RS. Okay. So for that, the to find out the coordinate of that shaft S, we just do one thing that is at first I am drawing the tunnel position okay suppose this is my tunnel this is my tunnel here is q and here is another known point p and q sorry p and q and it's told that the s the shaft is midpoint of p and q so p and q midpoint is s Suppose it is its midpoint, so it is S, okay, and it is fixed from a station R. So here a station R. From this, this is fixed, okay. So you know about shaft. Shaft is nothing but a opening which is provided in tunnel, okay. So here I am writing the coordinates. So here, northing of Q is 4020 and easting of Q, easting how much? 800, okay, this one and R, northing of R is equal to 2110 and easting of r is equal to 1900 okay and here also the value of northing and easting of p is 00, zero. okay so and we have to find out the northing and easting of s okay so this is our total concept this is our tunnel which is passing from p to q and uh, the sap which will be provided at its midpoint here which is fixed from another station r okay so we have to calculate first the coordinate of this shaft s okay this s for that we have to do one thing is not the n o r t h not thing okay not thing set <clears throat> northing is equal to northing of shaft S northing of P plus northing of Q by 2 okay because this S is exactly in midpoint between P and Q okay so here I am putting the values that is 
जीरो प्लस फोर जीरो टू जीरो बाय टू दैट इज इज इक्वल टू फोर जीरो टू जीरो डिवाइडेड बाय टू इज इक्वल टू टू जीरो वन जीरो मीटर ओके नेक्स्ट इस्टिंग इस्टिंग ऑफ द शैफ्ट इज इक्वल टू इस्टिंग ऑफ पी प्लस इस्टिंग ऑफ क्यू ओके बाई टू दैट इज ऑल्सो इज इक्वल टू जीरो प्लस एट हंड्रेड बाय टू दैट इज इक्वल टू फोर हंड्रेड मीटर सो हियर आई एम फाइन हियर आई एम कैलकुलेटिंग द नॉर्थिंग एंड ईस्टिंग ऑफ शैफ्ट ओके एस सो द लैट एंड डिप ऑफ एस इज इक्वल टू हाउ मच टू जीरो वन जीरो कॉमा फोर जीरो जीरो ओके सो इट इज अवर लैटिट्यूड एंड डिपर्चर वैल्यू ऑफ सेफ्ट एस और वी कैन से द कोऑर्डिनेट ऑफ एस ओके नाउ वी हैव टू फाइंड आउट द लेंथ ऑफ आर एस दैट मीन्स दिस लेंथ फ्रॉम दिस सेफ्ट एस टू दिस नोन स्टेशन आर ओके वी हैव टू फाइंड आउट दिस एल ओके फॉर दैट वी नो अबाउट फॉर्मूला that is nodding instinct okay so difference difference of difference in nodding difference in nodding that is two from this r okay to this s okay so minus s 2010 That is equal to hundred meter. Okay, so this is our lat value, and lat means your latitude, and dip means your departure. So find out the departure value difference in easting. Okay, so easting value that is here the value of R easting value of R is nineteen hundred minus four hundred. Okay, that is equal to one five zero zero meter. That is the deep value of this. Okay, this line, this L. Take it. Sorry. So next, next we have to find out the length of this. so here we have the latitude and departure of points so we have to calculate the length for that we have to apply the formula that is distance of rs is equal to okay root over of lat square plus dip square that means latitude square plus departure square that is is equal to here i am finding Hundred square plus departure is equal to fifteen hundred square. That is, is equal to root over of double bracket hundred square plus one five zero zero square bracket close. That is, sorry, something is wrong. Um, hundred square. Plus one five zero zero square. Okay, so here our value is this much of. Okay, so one five zero three point three three. So our so the length of R S is one five zero three point three three meter. Okay, so from this we have calculated the Position of S that means coordinate of S or SAF that is north is equal to two zero one zero meter and easting is equal to four zero zero meter, and now we are also finding the value 
of latitude and departure of RS. So here the latitude value and it is the departure value. So the distance is equal to root over of latitude square plus departure square that is is equal to this much of. So the value of length of RS is 15033 meter. Okay. Now next is the bearing of RS. Now how we can calculate the bearing of RS. For calculating the bearing of RS, so let the reduce bearing of RS is equal to theta. Okay, so reduce bearing of RS is equal to theta. Then tan theta is equal to how much tan theta is equal to easting by northing okay del is by del northing so here our value is for easting that is equal to 1500 and for northing that is equal to 100 okay so here I am writing 100 so tan theta is equal to this or theta is equal to we calculate this so tan inverse 15 that is is equal to we am calculating tan inverse 15 that is 86 degree 86 degree 11 minute and 0 09 second okay here we can write it okay so this is our theta value that means bearing of line r is is this much of okay so it is our reduced bearing okay so we have to find out the whole circle bearing so the whole circle bearing bearing of line sorry r is is equal to how much 180 degree plus 1011 min 86 degree for 11 minute 0 0.9 second that is is equal to plus 180 266 degree 266 degree okay 11 minute 0 0.9 second so our answer is so so the bearing of line R is is equal to 266 degree 11 minute 09 second. Hope you will understand how I am calculating this. I am again summarizing it that is knotting of sap is the for that we have to just do it nothing of p plus nothing of q by 2 okay we have we are we have the nothing of s and easting of p plus easting of q by 2 we have easting of s after finding the coordinate of s now we are, we are going to find out the length of rs for that difference of nothing and easting position of rs we are getting latitude 100 meter and departure is 15 1500 meter okay now we are applying the length or distance formula that is root over of some latitude square plus departure square and now we are getting the length of rs is 1503.33 meter now our next problem is how we can find out the reduced bearing of line RS so that the bearing of this line 
okay for that we are doing so we are applying the tan theta here for tan, tan theta is equal to e by not the easting by not the that is departure by latitude okay difference of lip, departure by difference of latitude and now we are putting here the values of that departure and latitude and we get by ta, in tan inverse 15 is equal to 86 degree 11 minutes 09 second so it is our reduced bearing so we are converting it into whole circle bearing for that we are just adding 180 because this value is less than 180 so we are adding 180 with it and we get the original whole circle bearing of the line rs okay so this is our whole circle bearing of line rs hope you are understand how i am doing this and if any question is arising here please feel free to ask and i will definitely try to answer it and uh, if you like the process and uh, like my video please like and subscribe our channel and please do share so that so it will be um, energetic for me also and uh, thank you thanks for watching thank you